not barbecue back there, and you didn't invite me, hurt my feelings. What's going on, good people? Today we are going to take a look at C.D. Lamb, the wide receiver of the Dallas Cowboys. Anybody who watched the Oklahoma Sooners play over the past couple of years knew exactly what the Dallas Cowboys were getting in first-round pick C.D. Lamb. Lamb is an explosive playmaker and a yak monster. All you have to do is get this kid the ball, and once he has it, he knows exactly what to do. Lamb's coming out party happened in week two of the 2020 NFL season against the Atlanta Falcons, where he was primarily matched up against Dark West Denard. Lamb ran 80% of the snaps, had 40 routes, 9 targets, 6 receptions, and 106 receiving yards. 64 of those yards came to the air. On this first play, you're going to get a glimpse of what C.D. Lamb knows how to do, and that's use the cornerback's leverage against him. He's lined up at the top of the screen in the slot, and he's going to use the momentum of the cornerback to get him off balance, rock him to sleep, and knock him on the ground. You're going to see him press hard towards the 50-yard line, getting the DB off balance. He's going to veer back inside and then quickly cut to the outside, breaking straight down the 45-yard line to make an outstanding catch. And then I love what he does after the run. You see that right there. Getting the cornerback off balance. Hard release to the inside. One step, two, rock him to sleep. Use a little bit of physicality. And what I love about Lamb is as soon as he catches the ball, he's looking to make plays. He's not looking to go down. He's not worried about contact. He's turning his head around, identifying where the defenders are, and looking to pick up extra yards. These little things, again, if you watched any Oklahoma over the, over the past couple of years, you know that CeeDee Lamb is a yak monster. Look at him, is immediately, as soon as he catches that ball, snapping his head around, and he's identifying where the defenders are. He's going to get upfield, accelerate, and then doesn't take a big hit. Outstanding play by Lamb. Right here at the bottom of the screen, he's matched up once again with Darquez Denard. You're going to see him run an out route, but it's the patience that he runs and shows right at about the 25-yard line. You're going to see him sort of hesitate, stutter step just a little bit to give the outside receiver, Michael Gallup, Almost like an involuntary pick right here, release to the inside, stutter step, physicality, catch the ball, get upfield. One more time, let's slow it down so you can see. It's going to press hard right off of the release to the inside. Cornerback actually has decent coverage right here, but there's the hop step. Hesitation, use that physicality, fight through the contact, utilize Gallup as a slight pick, catch the ball, get your head around, and attempt to pick up yards after the catch. CeeDee Lamb is a wise, wise, savvy young rookie wide receiver that looks nothing like a rookie while he's playing right now. From day one in the NFL, from his very first game against the Los Angeles Rams, he has looked head and shoulders like the best wide receiver in this rookie class. And Dallas has quickly identified since this game versus Atlanta in week two that he very well may be their best wide receiver. The next play is a prime example of why the Cowboys want to get Lamb the ball in space. Lined up here, tripped formation to the left. He's bunched in tight towards the line of scrimmage. This play is designed to clear out the defenders and give the playmaker space to make play after the catch. Right here, there's the clear out. Two blockers. Lamb gets the ball, gets upfield. I know it seems like a simple play right here, but when you see it from the reverse angle, you'll see there's absolutely no wasted motion once he catches this ball plants the right foot, hits the left foot, and then accelerates upfield. One more time. Get it to him. No wasted motion. One, two, and then he's upfield looking to pick up yards after the catch. That's what he does so well. Again, if you spend any time watching Oklahoma, you know that that is a part of his game. You also know that winning on these drag routes, CeeDee Lamb is a master at that. Lined up against Isaiah Oliver. One quick hard jab to the outside, and then right there the corner's playing catch up. Ball is underthrown and behind him, and CeeDee Lamb is able to adjust to that outstanding body control. Right here, jab step hard to the outside, get the defender off balance, and then right there, he's got him beat. Now he's just going to win with speed. Corner black back is playing catch up. Ball is thrown behind, but it doesn't matter. The body control by Lamb, this kid is playing well beyond his years in the NFL. And it shows. That's why he's commanding nine targets, six receptions, 106 yards. Isaiah Oliver here, one hard jab step to the outside. The hand fighting, the subtleties of the route running right here. Get off of me. Crossover, concentration, strong hands, body control, physicality. Amazing, amazing grab by CeeDee Lamb. 
one more time. Release, hand fighting, body control, strong hands, catch, and a first down by Lamb. His ability to recognize zone coverage is outstanding as well. There he is in the slot, trips formation, catching the ball, and then getting upfield again. He's just a savvy, savvy player. This offense fits him so well in this week two game was his coming out party. I know they have Amari Cooper and Michael Gallup, but from all accounts, he has looked like by far the best wide receiver that they have this year, and they're going to have to rely on the youngster even more with Dak Prescott falling to injury for the remainder of the season. One more time, in this game, CeeDee Lamb, nine targets, six receptions, 106 yards, 64 of those yards were air yards, and for those of us who are fans of the Dallas Cowboys, you should be extremely excited about the future of this 88. Those of us who participate in fantasy football leagues, you should be excited about the future of 88. I know it's only a couple of games into this season, but he looks like a more refined and more polished and a more versatile receiver than the number 88 that wore that jersey before Lamb. If you enjoyed this video, please thumbs up, like it, subscribe to the channel, and share the word with others. I appreciate you joining me. We'll be back again with more Film Breakdowns.